Did you know that you can turn your ex on just by texting? Well, stay tuned because in just a moment, I'm going to tell you exactly how it works. My name, of course, is Brad Browning, AKA The Breakup Geek, and I've been studying the psychology of breakups and relationships for over 10 years now. I've authored two books, been featured on countless websites, and helped thousands of people around the globe get a second chance with their ex. If you're interested in getting more of my breakup and dating advice, just subscribe to my YouTube channel here and get the latest videos before anyone else. Okay, so how can you turn on your ex through text messages alone? Well, I hate to break it to you, uh, but it isn't just as simple as spamming them with a bunch of steamy messages and hoping for the best. If you haven't properly primed your ex, that is, if you haven't you know, been using some of the tactics that I outline in my X Factor guide, then these text messages won't be as effective as they could be. And FYI, using these text messages immediately after the breakup isn't gonna work either. If your ex is still mad at you, or if they don't wanna talk to you, then these texts will probably just make matters worse. But it all comes down to this. Before you send these text messages, you have to make sure that your ex is in an emotional neutral state. See, when your ex is emotionally neutral, he or she won't be experiencing any of the negative emotions that are common after a breakup. Now, while this usually comes naturally with time and distance, uh, there are a few sneaky ways to speed up the process of getting them into that emotional neutral state. And of course, the best way is through no contact. Now, for the sake of brevity in this video, I'm gonna assume that you've already undergone a period of no contact. That's 30 days without calling, texting, or ideally contacting your ex in any way. And I'm also gonna assume that you've properly primed your ex to the point that he or she is open to the idea of at least chatting with you. Now, if you're not there yet, I recommend that you check out some of my other videos on that topic before you dive too deeply into this one. You can find those videos just linked in the sidebar. But without any more BS, let's jump right into it. So text number one is the intimate memory text. Now this is a powerful text that you can send to your ex that will force them to think about a romantic moment that you two have shared in the past. So to better explain, let me jump into a quick example here. Um, you might say something like, hey, do you remember that resort we stayed at in Maui? The sound of the waves while we were falling asleep? I had a dream about that last night. Take me back there. Now the goal here isn't to be explicitly sexual, just sensual. You want your ex to start thinking about the romantic moment that you shared together and let his or her imagination do the rest. So the best way to do this is to recall specific memories of the experience. So in this case, that's the sound of the waves. Now, if your ex seems receptive to your message, you can delve a little bit deeper and get a little bit more explicit. But if you do go too far, you'll probably blow it and your ex will be turned off. So remember, the key here is subtlety. Really, fundamentally, the goal of these texts is to use memory to evoke certain powerful feelings from your time together. So to do this, we're playing off your, your ex's uh, sense memories about the relationship in order to transport them back to a better time when the two of you were still together. So think of that whiff of, of perfume or cologne that reminds you of a past lover or the sight of a certain model of car that takes you back to your childhood. The power of senses honestly cannot be overstated in human psychology and they're definitely what we're tapping into with these kinds of text messages. Now text number two is what I call the clothing text. Now this one uh, does work better for the ladies, uh, but it can definitely work if you're a guy as well. The key to this text is to get your ex to think about their favorite article of clothing that you wore. So it could be a fancy little dress that you wore out on dinner dates, or even just, you know, a comfy sweatshirt that your ex liked to steal from you. But um, to better explain this one, let's jump into another example. You might say something like, I'm wearing that little blue dress that you always liked, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Uh, or you could say, um, remember that sweatshirt you always used to steal from me? I'm wearing it right now, and it's all mine. Now, of course, you need to customize this message to fit your specific situation. Again, you're using this information to unlock your ex's sense memory. And this is a great text to send if you want to be really subtle about getting your ex to think about you intimately. Now, if be things between you and your ex are, are going really well and they're being very receptive to the above two texts that I just mentioned, um, you can turn it up a notch by sending him or her this next example. Now, these texts have been tested by many of my clients and they really do have the power to turn your ex on. But if you really want to make your ex wild with desire and get him or her into your bed now, um, then head over to breakupbride.com and watch the full video presentation there. It only takes a few minutes and it gives you specific information about how to use your ex's psychology against them to create a powerful desire that they can't ignore. Again, you can watch that for free at breakupbrad.com. But let's move on to text number three, which is the picture text. Now, I don't mean you should send your ex, you know, uh, nude photos or unsolicited dick pics. 
um, just simply look for it through your phone for a photo album and, and send your ex a picture of a place where you shared an intimate moment together. So it could be, you know, the, the view from your hotel room in Mexico, uh, the cabin you shared at the lake, or even, you know, just a simple romantic dinner that you shared at a fancy restaurant. So send them the picture and then say something like, I was just going through some old pictures and I came across this gem. Remember this place? I have such amazing memories here. Really, any photo of the two of you where you're making physical contact is going to work here as well. Something a little silly is great, um, as it's often you know, a little less obvious that you're trying to turn them on, even if it does make their mind immediately go to that place. Now, similar to the first text that we already talked about, the key is here is to make it subtle. Um, if you're being overtly sexual at the wrong time, you could blow it and send your ex running. Text number four, the winky text. Now, again, this one's a little bit more forward, so make sure things are going well between you and your ex. Uh, and this text does work wonders if you have a little restraint and you keep it simple. So you could say something like, you know what I miss most about our relationship? Wink. And of course, that wink would just be the little winky emoji. Um, or alternatively, you could say something like, I miss you in that way. Again, winky face. Now, guys, I know this sounds ridiculously cheesy when I say it here, uh, but trust me, when you do say this kind of thing in the right moment, your ex is going to melt like butter. And on to text number five, the late night convo. Now, I think we all know what it means when, when someone sends their ex a text message in the middle of the night. Um, since the implication is so strong, you don't even need to hint at anything steamy to make your ex's mind run wild with excitement. So keep it PG and mysterious with this one. Um, something as simple as just saying, I'm thinking of you, dot, 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 can have a powerful effect on your ex if you send it to them after, you know, 10 p.m. If they seem open to more, uh, don't be afraid to get a little more risque, but don't drag the conversation out for more than just a couple of messages. The goal here, of course, is just to get your ex thinking about what else you used to do at this time of night and leave them alone to fantasize. Now, this text requires a little bit of vulnerability on both your parts, so save it for a time when the two of you have started to reconnect already um, so that it won't come off as, as sleazy or desperate. All right, and that just what does it for this video. Um, if you're wondering when you should be sending these text messages, uh, take my free quiz tool at breakupbrad.com quiz. On that page, you can take a quick five-minute quiz that will help you determine what your chances are with your ex. Again, take the quiz for free right now at breakupbrad.com quiz. And thanks for all your likes and subscribes, and I will chat with you all in the comments. Bye for now.